study them and look at all of their abilities, etc. What can you tell us about La Motion Grace? So for Grace, I think I've been looking up to her for as long as I've started my competitive career. Um, so it's really nice to see her, you know, come to a finals at these Premier Leagues and let alone share the mat with her. So I'm so excited for all the improvement I'm about to see on the mat. And same with Azuma. I actually trained with her in Japan last year <laughs> in June. We went to um, her dojo in Sano. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see both of them compete and can't wait for what's to come. Wonderful. Uh, Claudia, you, 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 you didn't start off we in Canada. Tell us all about your your background. How did you get into karate? Hmm. So I started when I was seven years old, and I really looked up to my older brother back then, and um, I wanted to be wherever he was. So he started karate at a dojo next to my house, and um, you know, following after my brother's footsteps, I just like tried to get tried tried the sport, and I fell in love with it. But falling in love with that is no doubt what most people will be trying to do with this particular performance of uh, Asuma Seiko. She's chosen the Katapapuren for the gold medal bout. You have a favorite kata? I was looking forward to seeing Chatanyar being performed after watching Riko Sami set the standard <laughs> really back in 2012. So, yeah, but Papuren is very beautiful. It's one of my katas as well. Azuma Seiko was a silver medalist in Paris. She was first in the A series and she's been a bronze medalist in the A series. So well capable of winning a medal. She's at least going to get a silver, possibly gold, depending on this performance and that of the world number one, La Mousse Grace. Your thoughts about the performance so far, Claudia? Very controlled. I could see in Papurin it's really important to have good contrast between fast and slow technique and hard and soft technique here too. So, so far she's doing a good job being dynamic. Any particular areas that you would look out for that are particularly difficult? Yeah, all of the rotations in this kata. So there's going to be some 180 de ro uh, degree rotations after her next ki coming up and then a 270 turn almost going into a cat stance so yeah lots of difficulty here great focus and concentration isn't there yes Here's the turn coming up. Nice, and she stuck it. It's very graceful, Kata, isn't it? Yeah, I, I love watching it just because it keeps you on your toes, right? Like everyone's timing is slightly different for Paparin. Um, and there's major highlights that everyone tries to amplify here. Very sturdy lower body.
excellent performance of the Qatar Papurin from Azuma Seiko. Yeah, I think it was a solid performance too. Uh, the judges, seven of which will make their choice of the scores. They'll put that into the computer, into the tablets, and the scores will be revealed at the end of the Qatar performance from La Motion Grace. And your wishes being granted, Chatnyara Kushanku is the choice Amazing. of Kata. I'm excited to watch. And uh, what a fantastic athlete to demonstrate the Kata. World Game silver medalist, Olympic bronze medalist. Twice she's been a Karate One Premier League gold medalist. No more Sion Grace, world's number one seed. As uh, you said, Claudia, the amazing performance of Riku Yusami. Yeah. Standing ovation, 16,000 people, Paris Bercy, 2012 World Championship final. Sensational performance of the Kata. Definitely Some say the memorable. best ever. Yeah. When you just say Riku Yusami and you think Chatanyara, you, you can picture back. You vi I visualize it all the time. I'm pretty sure every athlete will recall that video for sure. Or if they were there watching in person too. That performance is, of course, by millions and millions of views. But this performance is fantastic by La Motion Grace. I'm going to kind of put you on the spot a little bit, Claudia. And at the end of the performance, I want you to... Uh, Give us your opinion. Would you go red or would you go blue? It's going to take me a bit to decide. I'm going to keep watching Grace here. So far, I think she's been super dynamic from the beginning. And um, and it looks like she's not even breaking a bead of sweat. So uh, these two katas are very difficult to compare side by side because they show and they highlight different strengths. Um, for Grace, I think it's a lot about speed. and. So far, she's been sticking every technique here, so it makes her look more um, more powerful, more grounded here. For Papurin, again, I think it was the contrast that stands out the most. The, the contrast between mm -hmm. hard and soft technique, or yeah. soft and slow techniques, too. So it's going to be a difficult decision for the refs, for sure. Very still ending, so nice and clean, sharp. No extra movements after their techniques. Lots of control for both athletes. You can see the control in all of their techniques. So that takes a tremendous amount of skill. And that's something that all kata practi practitioners are, are trying to develop in all of our trainings, right? Mm -hmm. how, to, how to explode from a still movement, how to um, build and like strength endurance in our in our legs or in our bodies and then go from zero to 100 as fast as we can ah let's see what the judges say which are you going to go for red I or blue Ooh, this is a coin toss for me i cannot oh, it's a coin toss. Gonna, i cannot <laughs> being a referee is a tough job ah, <laughs> it's always been difficult yes. but they have to make a decision eight four eight two in favor of Azuma, 8585858587888888. Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> wow. By point, by point two. two. 
I'm and what's your grace? 43.4 against 43.2. Very Fantastic. Close. And as you say, it was a, almost a coin toss. <laughs> I should put money on this. You should. You should indeed. That was really good. Wow. I, I love watching their reactions at the end of these. <laughs> you just can't help it. You, you feel the same way they do when, when you've accomplished something so big. So you know how much hard work they put into it. Sensational. Just a chance to have a look at some of the action here. Oh, you've got lots of things going on. Uh, and, and you ju just had a chance to have a look at Chatnyara Kushanku and how close it was with the performance of Papuan as well. Making a decision, which one are you going to go for? And it doesn't, and it can be down to the, the smallest of detail, can't it? I think I have to have a front row view for this for sure. Um, if I were to see it in the front view, I could say that there is some moments in Papurin, the, the performance of Papurin, where I felt there was unstableness only at the end when there was the kakate at the end, the grab with the single leg standing. Because she came out of it rather quickly. Yes. So you can see that there was no <laughs> center of mass, wasn't like directly over that front leg, but um, maybe it was just that defining point two factor for Grace could have been just the sharpness at or this level, stillness. It's about the margins, isn't it? Yes. It's so it's the